This is you. Hello. And this is the entire known universe. But just how small are you really compared to the cosmos? Well, let's start off with something you are familiar with, Earth. Humans clearly cannot be seen from space. Take you, for example. You are roughly one 500 millionth the size of our planet. So we're already starting off pretty small, but that's kind of hard to grasp. So put it like this. The Great Pyramids of Giza, some of the largest and most impressive feats of human building can be seen from what we declare as space. And they look like this. No, they are not anthills, they are the pyramids. And this is something like how you would look standing next to them. I mean, far out, you're tiny. But we're just getting started. And the Earth is barely a drop in the cosmic ocean. Earth sits inside our solar system. And well, even compared to other planets, we're pretty small. Jupiter is the largest planet within our solar system. And if we shrunk down Earth to the size of a nickel, Jupiter would be the size of a basketball. The largest celestial body in our solar system is the Sun, which is this much bigger than Earth. And through some quick maths, we can work out that if every human got 36 cubic feet of space, 33 septillion humans could fit inside the Sun, which is 1,650,000 more times as many ants on Earth. For reference, there is an estimated 20 quadrillion ants on Earth. Yes, yes, I can already feel you spiraling through the computer screen, which is saying a lot because right now, I'm not even at the computer screen. I'm sunbaking on a beach. But reel it in because we haven't even gotten to the fun part yet. Now we're moving on to galaxies. Zoom out from our solar system and you get the Milky Way. No, not this Milky Way, the Milky Way galaxy. Yes, this really epic looking spiral thing. Well, really epic looking spiral thing from above or milky smear in the sky if you're viewing from Earth. Now, if you're thinking we are just one of a few solar systems in the Milky Way, you'd be right. If by a few you meant 3,916 stars, aka suns, with multiple planets, moons and comets orbiting them. The Milky Way is around 100,000 light years across. But like most normal people, you're probably thinking, well, that would be really helpful information if I knew what the heck a light year was. It's a lot less pretentious than it sounds. A light year is literally just the distance light can travel in a year. Which is a lot, because in just one second, light can travel 300,000 kilometers, or 186,000 miles. At that speed, you could travel around the globe 7.5 times in less time than it takes me to sneeze. A light year is 9.4 trillion kilometers, or 5.8 trillion miles. So to cross the Milky Way from one end to the other, it would take you 100,000 years traveling at the speed of light. And this isn't to do with the size, but more so just another fun fact to freak you out even more than you're already freaking out. But the center of the Milky Way, yeah, right here, also happens to be a supermassive black hole that is 4 million times as massive as our sun. But that's like 28,000 light years away, so don't stress. Back to how tiny we are. So we're over here somewhere floating around the black hole, but it is such an insane size difference between Earth and the Milky Way that it is practically impossible to imagine. It would be the same difference as if our Earth was the size of a grain of sand and the Milky Way was the same length as 3.6 of our suns. That makes us smaller than the Who's in Horton Hears a Who. And we're not even close to being done because that is just in our galaxy, which sits inside the universe. And inside the known universe, there are around 200 billion galaxies. Yes, billion, with a B, which means 200 billion more Milky Ways, which each have billions of stars with even more planets and more moons and other things we haven't even discovered yet. The actual size of the entire universe is literally unknown because we can't see that far. But the size of the observable universe is approximately 93 billion light years in diameter. That is a size so big that our human minds cannot grasp. 
If we were to go back to the grain of sand analogy and shrink our galaxy, the Milky Way, to the size of a grain of sand, the universe would be as big as the Empire State Building. And that is if our galaxy was the size of a grain of sand. The Earth isn't even a speck in the galaxy, so imagine how small we are. So, yeah, pretty crazy when you think about it. But also kind of amazing. I mean, all of this space with gas and dust and chemicals and we are here. Earth has managed to fall into the perfect conditions for life to be formed that so far have not been found in 93 billion light years. So just remember, it's a pretty remarkable thing that you exist.